Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today, and today I'm going to be doing my NFL trade deadline predictions for the 2023 NFL trade deadline. As the NFL trade deadline is on October 31st, which is Halloween, uh, we are uh, 19 days away from the trade deadline. It's under three weeks away from the 2023 trade deadline, and this is going to be a very interesting trade deadline. I'm really excited to see what we have uh, happen this year. I think there's going to be a lot of interesting moves you see happen. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So, um, let's start off with the, one of the biggest names that's going into this, this 2023 trade deadline, and that is Kirk Cousins. Uh, what happens with Kirk Cousins? Does he go to the Jets? Does he stay in Minnesota? He has that no-trade clause. I think Kirk Cousins is staying. I don't see Kirk Cousins going anywhere this year. Um, so I see him staying in Minnesota. Um, but I could see the Jets making an aggressive move. Then I'm next. I'm going to be talking about McCole Hardman, wide receiver, who has been in the news over the last uh, couple, the last couple days. The Jets have been. It's been reported that the Jets are actively trying to trade the wide receiver who played with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs, his former team, are one of the teams that are, um, you know, rumored to potentially be a landing spot for him. Would it be surprised if you see the Chiefs make Chiefs make a move for him? But actually, I have I have him going to the Baltimore Ravens. They need some help with that wide receiver position. Obviously, they got Zay Flowers, OBJ, Rashad Bateman, but Rashad Bateman and OBJ have had a lot of injury troubles in the past, and Zay Flowers is a rookie, so why not add in some more wide receiver help for Lamar Jackson? And it's going to be cheap. It's gonna You're going to have to send a sixth-round pick to the Jets and get back McCole Hardman in the seventh-round pick. So you're just going to have to uh, trade a pick swap for McCole Hardman to add in an experienced wide receiver who has a lot of talent for Lamar Jackson. Then... Next, you got star defensive end Daniil Hunter. The Houston Texans are a team that have been rumored to be buyers at the trade deadline. Uh, you know they're they're you know, they're competitive. They're two and three right now. I know that's not the best record, but um, you know last week they nearly won. They should have beat the Atlanta Falcons. They should be three and two right now. They have an easy schedule. They I think they have what it takes to potentially win the AFC South. I don't know if they will do it. But I think they have a chance. The AFC South is tight. It's going to be close. Um, brought it probably between all four teams. And one, a couple moves, one or two moves at the trade deadline, the Texans are competing with the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think a move like Daniil for trading for Daniil Hunter, trading a second and a fifth round pick for Daniil Hunter would get the job done for the Houston Texans to keep them in contention with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Next, we've got another star player. And it's Brian Burns of the Carolina Panthers. Um, I see the, I see a yeah, big buyer, another, another, you know, another team trying to compete with, uh, one of the teams in their division. I don't know if they're able to catch up to that team in the division, but I got the Seattle Seahawks acquiring Brian Burns. Um, I believe the linebacker, right? Yeah. Um, you know, they need right now. I mean, Seattle, they're good, right? They're three and one while San Francisco's five and oh, um, Seattle, Seattle's already had the buy. They played the Bengals this week. That's going to be a hard matchup. Um, I, I like their defense. They have a solid defense, but to add in Brian Burns to that defense would be even better. Carolina's 0-5. I know they've expressed wanting to sign him to an extension and not trade him, but I just see Seattle being a buyer and trying to compete with the 49ers for that division because uh, they're, they're, they're their biggest threat right now. I believe you look at Seattle, their biggest threat is San Francisco. Um, next, I got Jerry Judy. I got another trade for the Panthers here. I got Jerry Judy going over to the Carolina Panthers. They want a wide receiver one. They're going to get a wide receiver one. I have them trading a second and fourth round pick uh, to the Broncos for Jerry Judy. Um, and then um, uh, I got the Browns making a couple moves at the trade deadline. I have the Browns making a move with the New York Jets. I got the Jets continue to sell a little bit. I got the Jets acquiring running back Michael Carter II. The Browns want some help at the running back position. It's been rumored that they want to acquire a running back. They're looking at star guys. I don't know how they're going to be able to get it. Maybe, if, you know, a real big name. Maybe the Browns try to contact the Colts about Zach Moss with Jonathan. With Jonathan Taylor back for the Colts, do, do the, maybe do the Browns try to call about Zach Moss. But Michael Carter the third, Michael Carter the second right now is a guy who's a solid running back but is sitting at the running back three right now because the Jets have Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook. I see the Browns are making a move for um, for running back Michael Carter the second, And then another guy I see the Browns making a move for, 
got to protect your quarterback, Deshaun Watson, who's dealing with a shoulder injury, and your new running back, Michael Carter. Um, and we're going to go over, this is the this is the Broncos fire sale that we're going over next, and that is Garrett Bowles, offensive tackle. I got him going to the Cleveland Browns. He might be a little bit expensive, might cost you a fourth-round pick or a fifth-round pick, but I think uh, the Browns want to improve that offensive line a little bit more, especially that tackle position, and um, add in Garrett Bowles and not only Gary, Garrett Bowles, uh, Bulls, but also Michael Carter the second. Then getting into some more of the Broncos fire sale. Cortland Sutton's been a guy that's been rumored to maybe be on his way out, but I I have him staying in Denver. I don't think they're going to trade both wide receivers. I think both guys stay. Um, and then but then another guy, Frank Clark, it's already been said that he's going to be uh, either traded or released from the team very soon. I got the Falcons making another huge move at the trade deadline. They just traded for Van Jefferson to help their position at the wide receiver position. Now improve that defense, which is already a very solid defense, and add in defensive end Frank Clark. Um, and that will be that will be cheap. Then Carl Lawson, defensive end. I have him staying in New York. It's been rumored that he could be traded, but I have him staying in New York. Then you got Hunter Renfro. I got him going to the Patriots. I think the Patriots make a move for the for the wide receiver. Um, I mean, obviously they're going to be selling a little bit, but I think they might be a little bit buying a little bit. Hunter Renfro is not having a good season. The Raiders have Jacoby Myers and Devonte Adams. I think you could get him for a fifth and seventh round pick, and that wouldn't be bad at all to get Hunter Renfro for a fifth and seventh round pick. He's a guy who had he he's a guy who had a thousand yard receiving season and. A Pro Bowl appearance uh, a couple seasons ago. Um, then you got um, Hollywood Brown, another wide receiver. Here's the move I think the Chiefs make to get a wide receiver in in for Patrick Mahomes. You don't need an elite guy. Holly Bro- Hollywood Brown, Marquise Brown is a good player. The Cardinals are selling. They're trying to you know get rid of him. So you can trade a third and a sixth round pick. Uh, to the Cardinals and get Marquise Brown and add in a new wide receiver one for Patrick Mahomes. Then a cornerback to add into the Steelers. They they need some help at the cornerback cornerback position. And Jalen Johnson of the Chicago Bears is a corner who I really like. And they've had some guys that have came in at that corner position that have stepped up. A couple guys they drafted. Um, and I, I really think that, yeah, I look at their roster and there's really no room for him anymore. I see them trading him. Um, I see the Steelers trading a six round pick for the for the young corner Jalen Johnson going to the Steelers. And then another Bears player, I got Darnell Mooney staying in Chicago. I don't think they trade him. Another star, um, or potential was supposed to be a star, Chase Young, the second overall pick in the 2020 NFL draft. I have him staying in Washington. Uh wide receiver, I said that's I said the Patriots would sell a little bit and buy a little bit. I have uh the Patriots trading Kendrick Bourne back to the 49ers. Kendrick, Kendrick Bourne returning to the San Francisco 49ers. Obviously, the 49ers are one of the best teams in the NFL, but I look at their team and, like, really, like, I just look at their team and they don't really have a strong wide receiver number three. You got Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, but um, Debo has had injury problems in the past. I think Kendrick Bourne would be a, a great guy to add in at that, you know, wide receiver number three uh, to potentially be... A wide receiver too. If something happens to Debo or Ayuk, it's a good option. I think him and Brock Purdy would have some good chemistry, and he returns to San Francisco. And then some other guys that I have staying uh, in in their uh, places: Hunter Henry. I have him staying with the Patriots. Juju Smith Schuster. I don't see the Patriots moving him. I don't think anybody's going to really want to make a drastic move for Juju Smith Schuster. I don't see the Bengals trying trying to trade T Higgins. They're trying to win a Super Bowl. I know they're two and three, and I have. Their two next games against the Seahawks and the uh and the 49ers, but they're not moving T. Higgins. And Derrick Henry is not going anywhere either. So yeah, that is it for my 2023 trade deadline predictions. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.